there are fifteen people waiting on YouTube. Well, there are a lot uh, in the waiting room. You accept everyone. Bring everyone yeah. in the. Yeah. जो भी आप ले लो सबको अंदर. I can just disable the waiting room. So yeah, I have already done that. You know, you just okay. concentrate on that. We'll take care of the people entering. Okay, okay. okay. Um, can I start? Yeah, we are live already. Okay. Good evening, everyone. Uh, we welcome you all to our first lecture of this series, Ghar Ki Murgi, where we celebrate diverse talents of our own students at Teda. Sometimes in our own drive to invite new talents from across the world to present their work, we often forget to notice that our own students might be silently up to something very innovative and special. This Seda series, titled as Ghar Ki Murgi, will bring together such such talents from across Seda, uh, who are making major strides in the world of visual and spatial innovation. Today, we welcome Nishad Kela to present his exemplary works of art with us. Nishad is an artist and an architecture student, and his artworks are an intersection of realism and surrealism. He creates worlds of in environments that feels like functioning world around us, but are abstract and ambiguous. So now I hand over the plat platform to Nishad. Nishad, the platform is all yours. Yeah, thank you, Anil. Uh, that was great introduction. Uh, so uh, hello everyone uh, my name is nishad and i am a fifth year architecture student and uh, some of you might know me as a friend or a random person in black clothes moving around at campus and uh, some of you might know me from my instagram and my artworks uh, so the point of this talk is to showcase my work to everyone that i've been studying uh, with and uh, show my journey and evolution to everyone who looks up to me and my work so many of you must be knowing that a lot of us uh, really are passionate about the work that we do apart from our academic work and uh, many of you might be afraid or too confused to start doing something uh, on their own liking and i hope you find some inspiration looking at my work and my journey and start doing something that has no academic obligations and is purely related to your passion and interest say it is uh, art or writing or literature uh, photography reading uh, or any other thing and uh, uh, i am going to uh, try to keep this talk as simple and understandable and informal as uh, most of the people saying this are of my age group and uh, are willing to see what's inside of the works of me and who i uh, really am so uh i'll start uh, sharing my screen yeah so is my screen visible nishad could you go full screen yes 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 okay yeah so yeah so as i'm more into uh, telling stories visually and narrating ideas i will be explaining my work as a journey of evolution itself so this is what i have been doing for the better part of the last two or three years and i have been uh, creating digital artworks for the better part of my academic life and i have been exploring many different mediums and uh, styles and ideas and trying things out and learning a lot in the process so the images in this collage consist of some of my work apart from studies experiments and other uh, shenanigans Uh, so if you see the collage was the best way to show my evolution and ups and downs as most of these uh, are uh, chronologically placed and still under process so and uh, you can see the radical change that happened in the work exactly at the bottom half of the collage uh so uh, in this quick video i am trying to say that i usually wake up every day and spend half of my day or a little bit more in my college work and other things and i have to deal with uh, the uh, deal with it and after maybe evening or late at night i force myself to sit and make at least uh, something uh, that has to be posted on my google drive before i sleep so and usually i set a timer of say 55 minutes and work uh, with a deadline like a time problem and uh, work in 5 minute increments of it until the piece is finished right uh so i procrastinate a lot 
but i try to train myself to have that discipline and uh, have been developing ever since and it ends up looking kind of like this where i have damaged multiple hard disks and uh, graphic cards motherboards uh, an entire laptop doing this but i feel that the medium should not affect the creativity of an individual and should not stop you from making something at least so uh before diving into digital i used to sketch a lot so the slide shows that you don't need a particular medium to show your art and express yourself but you can also scrape your wrists uh, using uh, your pens mouse and get something awesome and uh, the sketches on top uh, are of a scroll that i made in our rsp in pragpur uh, and did an activity mapping with krunali ma'am and she knows how much she had to follow up uh, to make me finish this for our rsp booklet and the second sketch uh, is uh, uh, directly inspired by a korean artist called kim jungi who is an am amazing artist and i have learned a lot by copying a lot of his work and style yeah uh so this is uh, what i have been uh, so this is what uh, my work looks like for now and i have been learning a lot of compositions uh, scene building story building abstraction color theory photo manipulation and a lot more so as you must have read in the poster and introduction and many of you might have uh, figured uh, figured it out already that my artworks are at the intersection of realism and surrealism and i spend most of my time creating worlds and environments that feel like a functioning world around us but uh, they are extremely abstract and ambiguous right so uh in even in this videos uh, they are also part of the same exploration where i try to explore the unseen world that we are yet to uncover and uh, which is the inner demon or angel living inside us that has been there at the whole time and either helping us or manipulating us into doing something else so it is like a pers uh, personification of one's conscience which i named upanishad which is a part of me that has multiple faces and personalities held inside one man so where how and why i do what i do this uh, most of my work is based on what happens to me every single day and what i do uh, what i go through in my life uh, every single day so most of the time is it is good sometime it is really bad but i'm happy that i get to document it every day in my way of uh, expression uh, and uh, the uh, this particular image was directly inspired by the work of uh, mike winkelman uh, who is a who is a huge inspiration for my work and uh, uh, this image uh, uh, like it is uh, very dark and uh, you know dingy and very very dystopian kind of a concept but uh, because as i said it was all uh, practice and study i kept on doing it and kept on improving my work so uh, uh, like uh, i started introspecting and seeing what i am going through and feeling what i have done right now and then trying to abstract it so i started drawing myself doing what i do learning about robotics and sci-fi sci stuff and all that and also giving juries and uh, presenting uh, a lot of uh, my work every day and being glued up to my phone scrolling art station behance pinterest and looking for uh, many references for uh, what to do next uh so also after that i started commenting on political mental health and uh, many other issues which is very hilarious in my opinion and uh, many emotional uh, emotional concepts uh, we feel as a generation and uh, also the first one here is a meme about uh, covid uh, where uh, we feel weak and start asking god about our problems and be dependent on others and uh, uh, about the problems in the world and he makes fun of us by saying i mean how should i uh, save you jpeg or uh, pdf or whatever so uh, the second one was when i got hit by a buffalo uh, while on an activa and i painted it as a semi robot hybrid that uh, never stops coming in the way and the third one is over emotional and a literal piece that says uh, put your heart out of the equation um so 
in the same series i had some works that are about religion and uh, relooking the culture heritage of india by having a droid or a robot uh, as wives and dulhans uh, which was again me finding a line between realism and surrealism so this is where i crossed the line i feel and i started to think that i am doing too much or being too literal and going too far uh, where i can't really explain the right one but on the left one this is the woman who looks extremely like my grandmother uh, which was inspired by an incident that took place a few years ago where she complained my mom about uh, me having my whatsapp last seen at around 2 am and uh, not studying for my history exam and not letting me do what i want since my childhood so i got into an argument uh, the next day and uh, made this and put it as my whatsapp dp and after that no one has really said anything to me uh, and uh, the right one uh, was dedicated to a friend uh, moving on so uh, this is the part uh, where i said i needed i need the art to be a little bit more deep and uh, based on a narrative that has a bit depth to it and this is the time where i really improved my way of narrating uh, my thoughts and not only be rebellious and use my work as an excuse but uh, have a better understanding of many other concepts as well so uh, in these two i'm trying to show uh, humans on a distant planet and uh, making agricultural ag agriculture possible in a very direct way where there is this uh, there is this uh, guy uh, like from up uh, wearing a gas mask with his uh, helper droids and drones and also people uh, trafficking exotic plants on distant lands so uh, my idea was that humans are going to be humans and at the same time i was extremely interested in uh, showing the bad worst and ugly side of us as a society and long story short a dystopia and uh, it was very disturbing uh, having this art block uh, that i took a break and started doing other things and exploring other mediums that i really uh, hadn't done before so as i dipped my toe uh, in the 3d world i started looking at things more holistically and having more thought behind my creation and uh, started putting more thought into the narration and uh, visuals of the story rather than uh, having the badle ki bhavna kind of uh, idea so this is about uh, time when covid uh, hit covid lockdown hit us harder again and we were kind of busy uh, working from home and we were thinking about uh, finding a paradise in the workplace itself and that's where this concept came up and uh, i started putting all my basic knowledge of composition narration uh, color theory and all of that into this and uh, i tried to make it in such a way that uh, wherever you zoom in it becomes an artwork in itself and also um, Uh, you can you can also be able to put it as your phone wallpaper wherever you zoom in so that was the basic idea behind all these compositions uh, so uh, the second piece is dedicated to my late brother who passed away at the age of 10 months and i made this uh, in such a way that uh, he is going to meet his grandmother who he uh, has never met before and this one made everyone in my family cry so i think it made its impact so taking uh, inspiration from uh, ancient stories mythologies uh, old traditions and a lot of other political and emotional concepts uh, they were slowly translated to visuals uh, so the left one was about uh, settlers uh, in a newly found land and the right one is about dystopia uh, dystopian uh, vat savitri uh, puja which i made to mock my parents uh, with uh, a mechanical tree with solar panels as foliage so it was pretty abstract as you can see uh, so uh, my work kept on growing and the uh, portfolio kept on building where i used to make one artwork every single day uh, and then add it on my instagram as a challenge and used it to post very frequently so the concepts here were usually individuality uh, and always about uh, finding and discovering something uh, so in these uh, in these artworks as well something very dark intriguing uh, keeps happening and i uh, i can describe every one of them but uh, uh, we'll do it some other day and some of these are uh, you know like pyramids and tombs and also fossils and 
this one particularly uh, is uh, called creation of eve that's the opposite of creation of adam where the original painting uh, is in heaven and adam is on the ground and here eve is levitating and the goddess is on the ground so it was like i was trying to uh, exp explore every single thing in like uh, retrospect and in opposite way uh, also these are some rob uh, robots i tried designing so this was during lockdown so i didn't really have any uh, reason or any place to go out so i usually spend my time in my room and uh, my terrace and my first attempt was to visualize something digital into real life so these robots were basically designed by me and uh, i tried to show something uh, where i was sitting on my terrace having a tea with my robot butler uh, so as i said before i started getting uh, darker and darker and started going down the pathway of uh, sarcasm and dark humor so i had to stop somewhere and this one was uh, based on the instagram influencers who really find any reason to be famous and making people feel bad so this was like my way of uh, mocking them and uh, uh, this is where i had to stop and take a break again because when you do something every single day again and again it becomes a habit and it all starts going south and uh, make things uh, stagnant right so this was about that mcdonald's meal that was launched by travis scott so i got a 3d model and uh, you know uh, made people sit around and uh, look at it like uh, hungry fools so uh, i made one last render and told myself to take a break and it was titled get a life bro and after that i focused back uh, on my internship at and black uh, for a long time and also started uh, painting again side by side and also i tried to find uh, the deeper meaning in things again which also gave an opportunity to introspect better and develop a maturity and whatever i do so because whatever i am going to make is like a, a hundred thousand or a 10000 part of what my end collection is so these paintings explore more of that bloom and flight <clears throat> uh, in the left one it it shows that inner bloom and inner flight uh, which we usually take after we go downhill and uh, the second one is called motherhood which i made for my mother and uh, the third one is called uh, upanishad which i explained earlier which is uh, a character that i call uh, with <coughs> uh, uh, call having multiple personalities of a person uh, which took me a step back and uh, made me rethink again so there are also these uh, photo manipulations of the same idea of uh, finding myself in my work and telling the story of what uh, reality is uh, in a very abstract way. So uh, again, this is where it jump started back and I tried exploring the world building and exploring more colors and also a lot of elements in play. So my process sometimes goes like a kid playing with his toys, but in this case, the toys are actually elements in the composition itself. So as you can see, I tried playing a lot with uh, shapes, textures, geometry, uh, lights, uh, and colors. So all this came in handy when, uh, and uh, it was a lot of trial and error to make it look good and interesting. But uh, what I figured uh, out is that if you get the composition right, uh, half the battle is won there. And it's just a bunch of uh, brushing up and cleaning up uh, after that. Uh, so. Uh, doing my internship helped me a lot in coming out of my metaphorical cube and uh, it uh, provided that ladder and pushed uh, and the push that I always needed before uh, uh, where I could uh, find my inner bloom and uh, after meeting many new people I also learned a lot of uh, new things uh, during my internship so this was uh, a particular artwork that was dedicated uh, to the people of my office and people i've worked with and uh, this is what i showed you earlier a uh, very abstract way of uh, running away or uh, being in my own space or uh, just uh, moving around so uh, this is when i uh, lost my hard disk uh, all of my data and everything I had was lost and deleted. 
so i made this artwork where uh, this guy is standing there and i am sitting on a, a chair pretty depressed looking at all my old uh, lost work uh, which is now gone and i had to uh, re rethink everything and i had to make everything uh, from scratch again so this is like that and uh, this uh, pretty much resembles my setup around my room so all these uh, sheets and rolls and boxes of models and everything uh yeah yeah so uh again uh, i started playing a lot with uh, geometry mesh colors and uh, also started creating many uh, new environments so this is this is one of the piece where i uh, where i was exploring a uh, blender as a software and this was uh, all uh, created procedurally so procedural material is when everything is uh, built very customized and you can edit it anywhere so it is it was a very new concept for me but uh, all these uh, geometry and colors uh, i tried figuring it out somehow in blender and photoshop so they are they are kind of my uh, main softwares i use and also uh, i showed you this artwork earlier these are the color uh, variations uh, i had to make and i had to finalize one for uh, posting it but uh, i don't know uh, it was i it still confuses me uh, i i still don't know which one i like the most but that's why i kept all of them together because it's it's a collective collective uh, effort that i had to put in to get the composition right or uh, convince myself into posting one or making me uh, do all these things every day yeah so also uh, the same ones slowly again uh, it uh, kept on getting brighter and uh, darker at the same time so the concepts started getting more dystopian and uh, more destructive and i again uh, took a step back and started making all these artworks again so yeah the this one uh, the left one was uh, in the poster and the right one uh, was uh, during uh, like the at the time uh, where my friend uh, went to makka and i gifted him this one uh, the cube one so i don't know he uh, i i still have very mixed feelings about that yeah uh, so after that i started my new page uh, called uh, nish novas uh, where which is which is like me documenting a journey of a person who has killed his old self and started introspecting and uh, started making new art in a new style so the first artwork here was the first post on that page where uh, this new person is trying to kill his old identity which was very self centered dark and uh, had very dystopian thoughts and after that uh, he wore this mask which is opaque and has light inside so i am trying to show that uh, you are supposed to introspect before you start a new journey and uh, paint a new world so Uh, that's where i get most of my inspiration looking at things around me uh, like reading a lot uh, learning a lot every single day and talking to many people and that's how i get my ideas so this particular composition so uh, shows that i'm trying to paint the world that's around me but uh, in a very abstract way so this particular uh, set of images is uh, a a collection of images where uh, the same person is standing in the same angle and the background keeps on changing so uh, if i keep changing uh, the slides quickly so uh, the person is standing uh, in the same position and it is like documenting a journey which keeps on changing and the destinations keep on changing but uh, journey itself is uh, really important and that's how i am going to uh, show this process this is the recent one i made this like a day ago this is called uh, this uh, this is called uh, sister of pearl which shows the inverted world where uh, the pearl itself is inverted and shown in red so the blood of the the fish uh, the pearl fish is shown uh, in the in the pearl 
yeah and uh, this is the new set that i have just released uh, in the left one uh, the same concept journey and i try to uh, uh, reflect that realism uh, back uh, into the artworks again yeah so the right one was a punch in my face uh, like uh, me telling myself to get myself together and uh, telling myself that no one uh, no one really cares about your problems and no one really uh, thinks uh, you should be worried about these problems right so uh, it's like me creating uh, these artworks just to motivate myself yeah and even this one so uh, at this point i i am really interested in uh, scaling up small things and exploring that idea of uh, scales and uh, anthropometry in a very abstract way so uh, this is the video that i have made recently which was posted on my instagram uh, where the same concept is taken forward and this is my first attempt at making any uh, cinematic render or cinematic uh, video so this was all a gift of uh, you know working every single day and working in increments of 5 uh, minutes and uh, it has helped me a lot and uh, doing uh, architecture has really helped uh, you know thinking about every aspect of uh, uh, these artworks uh, so uh, these are some of my professional works these are all the album covers uh, for uh, some musicians that i have worked with so the left one is uh, for an artist called madox uh, he is a german uh, producer and a beatboxer uh so these two uh, artworks were created uh, for that and these are some other artworks that i have worked on so uh, that this uh, this particular one is uh, like i finished it two days ago and i'm still uh, you know i'm still working on it i'm trying to animate this one and uh, it's about a band called maya's grid so i created this character called maya and uh, i'm trying to create this world around her which is in a grid and she is trying to break that particular grid and uh, these are some of the uh, t-shirts and uh, t-shirts and uh, hoodies i have worked on and these are some of my fashion design projects so i uh, so this one was for a brand called hustle and i uh, jo, uh, so the day the, they released the samples i told them i need four or five of them and i gave them to my friends and uh, you know we were we were having lunch uh, at uh, you know the fire exit of our college and i i told them that i need your photos and i to i forced them to pose so yeah so uh, using the campus in a <laughs> very cool way uh, yeah so uh, i'd like to i'd like to say that uh, doing architecture has uh, helped uh, a lot uh, thinking about every aspect and developing a narrative uh, scaffolding around uh, my ideas and also i learned a lot doing case studies and also uh, thinking about every single aspect of whatever we do right so uh, such as uh, compositions uh, colors elements etc and also uh, you know look at many references before making something um, out of you know a, a raw idea so also also staying up late and uh, this happened in both ways uh, like working on the art and these concept helped me a lot in uh, world building and also graphical representation of uh, my academic projects as well uh, so thank you so much uh, it was a great opportunity for me and uh, Uh, thank you so much to pratishar so, uh, for uh, you know uh, appreciating my work and giving me this uh, platform to showcase my work yeah thank you nishad can you stop sharing the screen yeah yeah nishad this is uh, i mean this is terrific i'm actually absolutely speechless and i was smiling and absolutely speechless when you were presenting i mean uh, i mean it's very rare to come across uh, it's i'm i'm not i'm not trying to you know just exaggerate but it is very rare to come across somebody of your age uh, with a kind of uh, drive and uh, with a kind of maturity that 
uh, you have and uh, i really don't have a question but i have a lot of things to say yeah, yeah. so firstly i mean uh, i think i must thank you for uh, for showcasing your work uh, as much as me appreciating your work yes but i think the fact that you you chose to present here in front of a young audience in front of seda is 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 going to have a huge impact i'm i'm 100% sure yes uh i think this work is very important and it is important for two or three reasons i really appreciate the manner in which you are looking at this whole idea of aesthetics or drawings or representation as a thinking exercise or as a thought process rather than only a pretty picture right so when you said uh, that you no know, you wanted to as almost wanted to mock uh, wanted to kind of you know in a very uh, playful manner trouble your family you made that whole thing about uh, the tree worship so there is a tree which is actually a cyborg kind of a thing and you are worshiping that right so in some sense you are questioning the whole ceremony of religion the whole ritual or habits of religion that we are formed yeah. with the events that are happening in your life and you are showing something that you are responding to a pandemic uh, or a fact that when when you lose all your data what happens uh you know i think what what i find in your work is uh, a very interesting critique of the society itself and by critique i mean a positive critique uh, the idea of dystopia which i think that's the word that you have used very often in your narration and i would like students to really take a very serious note of this uh, the word that he has used dystopia and dystopia refers to uh, a, a, a situation which is not real which is not today but it it says that something has gone wrong in the future uh, you know the known balances have been disturbed and this is this is the new world that is created a thought of dystopia and you have a lot of these young adult fiction or a lot of these you know movies that are dystopian like blade runner is a very good example of of yes. of uh, of a dystopian movie uh, amongst the recent one one of my favorite apart from blade runner is uh, mad max fury road you know yeah. I, i'm sure uh, nishad would love that movie because yes yes <laughs> yeah and i i used i love no, the no. first mad max also that was that was yes, amazing yes, yes. also the first blade runner where uh, where you had harrison ford right and uh, so uh, or or hunger games for example is a very interesting uh, dystopian movie so the idea of dystopia is is a very important social idea and it is an idea by which many authors many writers and artists have questioned the world we inhabit today so they are either questioning the power structure that is there they are either questioning the nature of what has happened to technology how technology has taken over or they are questioning how we are you know destroying the ecology etc cetera, etc cetera. yeah so i think in your work there is a huge playfulness but in your work there is also an extreme uh extreme sincerity and an amazing commentary of the society so i really wanted to congratulate you because it's not very easy yeah uh, to come up with uh, with ideas like these and of course it goes without saying that one of the reason you are able to do is this is also because you have excellent skills so in the absence of skills these ideas are just ideas everyone has yeah. these ideas you know in in class i am sure nishad and hinal are all aware i have often say ki sadak mein jao sabke paas idea paan wale ko pucho wo char idea bol de but you need an ability to construct an idea an ability to a skill you know to do it so so i think that's that's pretty amazing and last i think what i really appreciated about your presentation is you have looked back back on your own work almost in retrospect yeah you have seen what was happening you have you have kind of detached yourself from your work and have almost given a third party assessment of your work how <coughs> how your work was changing or transforming so so i thoroughly thoroughly enjoyed this 
and uh, i can wish you i mean i can see you go places with the kind of skill and talent you have uh, mm-hmm. but but i'm i'm so happy to have students like you and uh, i'm sure students who are listening to you today and uh, it has to be a huge source of inspiration but i'm sure other my other colleagues would have some questions comments maybe other students would like to ask questions people who are on youtube can whatsapp their questions to hinal and she can read it out or you can whatsapp your question to pavni she can read it out but i'm sure in the zoom room there are people who might like to ask you something uh but can i just say something yeah uh, nishad it's uh, excellent and excellent work like i'm actually i have no words to express and i had not seen the side of it yeah. uh, i'm <laughs> so i think uh, it's very inspiring and uh, i think there is lot of maturity and deep thinking into what you are doing and i think i can completely see your skills in your academic work i had seen but i can see from where it is coming and uh, that resolution of thinking that and we quite keep on saying that you know critical thinking but i think this is because you're trying to bring in lot of thought processes together so that was one thing i really like that skill to comprehend information we keep on saying but you actually could translate that comprehend and translate it in your work was i think awesome amazing thing that i think that's very difficult to achieve at such a young age so for that i really i think <laughs> i really appreciate that uh, and i think one thing i really liked about you and i think all the students need to do is the discipline he talked about and i think that really comes because he was persistent and disciplined in life and you can't achieve anything without discipline and order in thinking and i think he kept on doing till he couldn't finish and i really like that part where he say you kept on increasing by 5 minutes and and you did not leave till you so you need to set a target for yourself so i think if you were not doing that you did not have that regimental kind of a schedule for yourself you might not have reached where you have reached in your artwork so yeah. congratulations nishad and i would just like to wish you all the best and uh, that's you. it <laughs> are there more questions in the zoom room the students in the zoom room maybe they have some comments uh there is a question on youtube and somebody is asking how did you get connected with these musicians uh so ma'am uh, it wasn't uh, audible a student or, or one viewer is asking how did you get connected with these musicians uh so ma'am uh, it wasn't clear uh how did i got connected with the musicians oh yeah the musicians oh okay uh so it was basically uh, my instagram and uh, i keep on marketing my uh, artworks uh, on instagram and many of my good friends uh, uh, share uh, my artworks in their stories and so uh, they have some connections and that's how that's how i get to meet new people and talk to them and that's how i uh, get these artworks and also i started beatboxing uh, some time ago and i also tag many uh, artists uh, in uh, my videos so they come across my work and that's how they approach me and uh, that's how i got to work on these uh, uh, german uh, artworks uh, i'm sorry uh, german um, musicians and also some korean people as well so i don't even know how they got to know about me but uh, i i'm pretty sure it's about it's because of instagram <laughs> it it's pretty amazing that uh, yeah i, I think uh, the person who was asking this question perhaps wanted you to tell about your musical talent uh, and i think it's very interesting how social media is used for 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 something for your work uh, you know for your professional work that's that's really quite quite something i would really love to hear some students here in the room 
maybe you just want to comment on what you felt do we have any first years here pragya there is a question in the chat box um from umang desai yes blender since how long are you using blender uh okay so i've been using blender for like uh, one and a half year uh, i was uh, basically using rhino and photoshop before after that i i tried to shift to blender but the the interface in blender is very complex and it took me <clears throat> like a month to uh, learn the basics and that's when i started it was around uh, like one year and 3 4 months would you like to um, elaborate more on how you really uh, managed to delve into learning these softwares uh, to these freshly uh, joined students in this field of architecture or do you really need a someone to be on your head and teach you the softwares i think it doesn't work that way uh, i don't think please ask yeah. this question yeah. umang desai okay umang desai right yeah so uh, i i've like basically in my second year uh, we had this uh, we had this subject called computing and uh, where they uh, where they taught us uh, some basic softwares but uh, i think you don't need really, you don't really uh, need a mentor to you know uh, stay on top of you and you know keep uh, telling you what to do you just need to uh, be persistent and uh, you know look at many tutorials and uh, uh, you know basically explore things on your own you just need to uh, be regular <clears throat> in whatever you do and that's how you can uh, you know uh, really uh, really uh, learn new softwares and you know basically we need uh, one visual visualization visualization uh, software one uh, rendering software and one modeling software i think uh, when you know at least this much you can uh, pretty much make anything you want and uh, at the end of the day you just need an idea that has to be translated into a visual so having that idea or a concept is more important rather than uh, you know mastering one particular software or being best at one software yeah that's that's what i feel i think that's a very nice advice that the idea and what you want to say is far more important sometimes people see this as a software game yeah i mean software is is just a tool it's it's just a medium that's why that's why even in the presentation i said you don't even need to uh, have a laptop if you want to you know explore the uh, art medium so you can yeah. many people do it on their phone many people are just into sketching and they still do it and they do it Correct. very well if you do if they do it every day, every single day yeah, yeah yeah i think that's that's a very important thing otherwise people get lost in investing in a laptop and software yeah. and software keep changing i mean yeah exactly you you start with something in in two years something else is there so yeah kinal do you want to ask something no i think i've personally asked him a lot of questions since so long and we keep exchanging ideas i keep showing him my work and i get yeah. good comebacks sure are there any more questions or anyone any questions on youtube uh, yes i just wanted to say that uh, i really admire your work nishad uh, i mean i've been recently got an aware about how that's how i mean how how you express in this uh, surreal manner and this is something uh, really new uh, i mean uh, this is something uh, Uh, i i i mean we all have seen such kind of work but it's a uh, kind of different to find so, someone doing this on uh, our context and uh, you are you are someone um, who i came across for the first time so to uh, understand how you are you know thinking and translating your work in certain manner for i mean i mean thinking about i mean dystopia and this ideas and how you are translating to understand that it was something very interesting for me 
and thank you for showing us how you do and your idea of persistency and you know coming with this narration of your thought process that was really interesting and thank you for showing and sharing that with us and i'm looking forward to see more such kind of work and finding more people around us from the campus yeah which is really interesting yes yeah that's the idea of karki mulki so yeah to to yeah. find people whom we we thought i mean we didn't thought that they were ordinary but to see it's all even for somebody who might have known your work the way you narrated it today would reveal new sides of you yeah but you know one thing that uh, one comment that pagni made that we did not know that in our context such work was happening because we usually uh to correlate this work with a very international uh, yeah. kind of a thing but yeah. one thing which is very striking in your work is and that might be true for many digital art that it doesn't seem to follow any nation boundaries or even cultural connotations yeah, yeah. i mean yeah. this could be a work of a young guy in 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 berlin for all you know or in stockholm or in tokyo or 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 in jakarta or yes. in istanbul anywhere so i think that's the so the the i mean i'm i'm very tempted to use the word universal and in some sense and i'm sure pragya would connect with those thoughts that this whole idea of the universalism of modernity that what modernity offered was a kind of a universal idea and uh, this really shows i mean this is very modern in that sense you know it could be could be anywhere and it makes sense i mean i can i can absolutely relate with this work from the indian context also so 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 there's a huge uh, it's it's uh, i mean you don't have to forcibly look for indianness everywhere i guess so it's very interesting great hinal if there are no more questions we can call it a day or there are <laughs> i wanted to ask you one thing could you reiterate or probably elaborate uh, what is that line of difference between uh, your previous artworks and what you just showed us what you what's the way ahead okay so what i used to do was uh, basically <clears throat> uh, basically having uh, 2d artwork so uh, should i should i start, uh, share my screen again so No, 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 no. So from two yeah. D artworks to three uh, D, and then now you said you are focusing more on your new self. I would uh, want to know a bit clearly what is the way ahead. So uh, I still don't know uh, how I'm going to, uh, uh, you know, go ahead. Uh, I'm still trying to uh, progress uh, in the same style uh, because I never thought I would go in three D. i always wanted to sketch and uh, draw every single day but uh, uh, you know I, as i said earlier i keep on uh, seeing many references uh, on you know art station pinterest and um, all those uh, places uh, and i come across uh, new things and i uh, first of all i try to do that particular thing or mimic that in the style that i'm uh, you know uh, very acquainted with so if i am uh, sketching or drawing and i want to go further but i really don't know how i'm going to do that i uh, basically try to mimic that in uh, whatever medium that is available to me right so and uh, and slowly i start to you know uncover uh, different uh, mediums or softwares or uh, you know uh, different uh, possibilities and that's how i got into 3d and uh, i don't know how i'm going to go further with it or continue this uh, particular thing and uh, actually that's the beauty of it so you come yes. across uh, new ideas and uh, you know uh, by everyday experiences this question came to my mind when you showed me that like showed us the artwork where you where you know the older self is killing i mean the newer self yeah. is killing the older yeah, self yeah, yeah, yeah. i was yeah. eager to know what the way ahead yeah so thank that you. was the yeah thank you there is one question uh, in the uh, in on youtube chat box do we have time for this yeah yeah we can we can okay. so it, push patel 
is asking do you see yourself working or contributing as a concept artist in game industry in near future yes yes i do yes i do uh because i have i've worked with some people who are into environment and uh, world building and uh, i want to get into uh, game development and game dev uh, projects uh but i do see myself as a concept designer because i have also written concept designer in my instagram uh, id so yeah <laughs> hope your wish comes true yeah definitely definitely great yeah. kinal are there any more questions uh no we don't have questions anymore so shall i shall i yes the conclude the session yes yes so so uh, nishad i think uh, thanks for this wonderful uh, wonderful thought provoking and very inspiring lecture that you have given it gives us so much hope that what you guys are doing is all right you know there's nothing wrong with your generation uh, <laughs> and uh, terrific work and uh, i i think we can all i think from from i think i'm sure i'm speaking from all my all my heart and from all my colleagues uh, from seda that we wish you all the best and i'm sure you will go places uh, and uh, you know and continue to produce uh, more awesome awesome art right but you still have your thesis to finish so don't yeah, lose yeah. hope there yes yes <laughs> <laughs> there are some case studies to be done yeah and he will yeah. thank you so much for putting this together <coughs> yeah you have done a great job with the poster and with the whole session my pleasure yeah Thank, Thank you, you Nishad. Thank you so much. Thanks, Nishad. Wish you all the best. So I'll just end the session.